All right, so when you're dealing with any sort of liquid substance, you'll, you'll inevitably get some sort of vapor pressure. And what vapor pressure is, is the pressure exerted via vapor over a liquid. So let's take our liquid water, for example. What actually happens is at the surface of the water, you have these water particles. And water particles at the surface will constantly escape into the, into the atmosphere, creating some sort of pressure over top of the liquid. Um, and they'll constantly go back and forth, back and forth in equilibrium, actually going from the gaseous phase, oh, sorry, from the liquid phase to the gaseous phase and back and forth at the surface. So let's say we capped this, uh, this container here. Now the pressure of the gas inside this chamber right here on top of the water, uh, water, um, water, liquid water is called the vapor pressure. So this is our vapor pressure. So whatever um, we are measure in here is what we're going to call our vapor pressure. Okay, so let's say we actually increase the temperature of the liquid. What's going to happen to vapor pressure? Well, we're going to cre create a little flame underneath here. That's my flame. Okay, that's my candle creating lots of flame. It's getting very, very hot. And what's going to happen to these water molecules, especially on the surface, they're actually going to escape much easier. They're going to move around lots of uh, this thermal uh, energy is going to create much, much more kinetic energy within the liquid. And they're actually going to escape into the gaseous phase much easier. And so there's going to be more particles here. So this vapor pressure increases. So as temperature increases, so vapor pressure also increases. Okay? So let's say instead of a flame, let's say I put this on ice. So instead of a flame here, I'm putting it on ice. These are my ice cubes. I'm cooling it down. I'm going to just write the word ice to make it clear. All right, so what's happening is I'm lowering the, uh, the energy within this system. So the water molecules are slowing down. And so what that means is they're more likely to stay within the liquid phase than go into the gaseous phase. So actually, gonna, vapor pressure is going to start lowering. They're going to be more in here than they are here. So as temperature decreases, vapor pressure, oops, vapor pressure too decreases, okay? So anytime you're talking about vapor pressure, you're actually talking about the uh, pressure of the gas exerted by the liquid over top of it. So this we have in here is our vapor pressure.